What's cooking guys? Welcome back to A La Carte with Alex, where I'm helping you cook up quick, easy, and delicious food one plate at a time. And today, we're going to be making some beef stroganoff. Now this is a dish that my mom used to make for me when I was little, and so it's kind of become a staple for me and my family. It's just hearty and savory, and it is just so delicious. If you haven't tried it, try out this recipe. And so we're actually gonna get started with our pot with a little bit of a salt in the bottom there. So you get some salted pasta water going. We'll go ahead and we'll just get that off to the side. To our pan, we're gonna add a little bit of oil and then we're gonna add our beef to that and let's start cooking that up just to break that up into nice size chunks. And we don't wanna cook it all the way. We just wanna brown the outside a little bit, get a little bit crispy, but don't cook it all the way in through because this thing still has a little bit more time to cook uh, towards the end. So brown it up a bit, get it nice and crispy, and then uh, we'll scoop that out and move on. To our pan, we're gonna add some butter. Make sure you leave those crispy bits at the bottom that the beef had. That's actually gonna bring a lot of flavor to this dish. So go ahead, just let that cook, melt that butter down. And to that butter, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some diced up onions or uh, sliced, rough chopped, however you want. Uh, I did big chunks because I like uh, big chunks of onions in my beef stroganoff. Okay, so we're gonna take some of our onions that have been sliced up and we're gonna cook those down, adding just a tiny pinch of salt and a little bit of cracked pepper to it. We just want those onions to kind of start cooking down till they become nice and translucent. There we go, look at those babies sizzle away. Oh yeah, look at that, that's, that's a good smell that's gonna fill your house. Plus you got all that nice crispy beef that's stuck at the bottom there, so tasty. So to that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some mushrooms. I like to add portobello mushrooms. They bring a nice depth of flavor to this dish. Now you can use regular mushrooms. That's a little bit more traditional. I like portobellos. They have a little bit meatier of a, a flavor to them. And I don't know, I just, I really enjoy that when I make my beef stroganoff. But go ahead and you can just slice those up. You can dice them however you want your, your onions and your mushrooms uh, cut up. If you want them a little bit finer, you know, go ahead and dice them up. I like them sliced. I like to have a nice bite when I, when I have my beef stroganoff, so it's perfect. Okay, so now that that's all cooking, that's when we're gonna start making our noodles. Because egg noodles cook extremely quickly, so if you do them too soon, they're gonna cook up and you don't want them to become mushy. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of flour. That's gonna make our sauce kind of thicken up and give us a really great consistency when we actually finish up our dish. So go ahead and mix that in and coat everything in that flour to kind of make a, essentially almost like a roux. Um, it's kind of what you're kind of trying to achieve, but you're mixing it in now because you want to coat everything with, with it and that's what's going to help thicken up that sauce. Go ahead and add about one cup, uh, maybe just a hair touch more, there you go, of beef stock. And just go ahead and mix that in there. Make sure all your floury bits get coated. And you can already see the sauce is starting to thicken up. And just, uh, I like to use a flat, hard spatula to really just scrape the bottom of our pan and get all those meat, oniony, crusty bits there that's just full of flavor. So go ahead and just uh, scrape that all down and get all that tastiness out. Okay, so to bring a little bit of saltiness to the party, I'm gonna use a little bit of a Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Worcestershire? sauce. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of a garlic powder. You can use fresh garlic, that works just as well. Now we're gonna add a tiny bit of spicy brown or Dijon mustard to the party. That's gonna add a nice tanginess. We're gonna activate tiny spatula here and we're gonna add in about two thirds cup of sour cream and then just go ahead and mix that into the party and let it simmer. Let all those flavors kind of mingle, get to know each other, say, hey, how you doing? How was your day? You know, all that fun stuff. Make sure you taste your food, add a little salt and pepper if needed. A lot of pepper if needed. And just let that bubble away. Look at that bubbly goodness. Let's just enjoy that bubbly goodness for a moment. So this is when we're gonna bring that meat back to the party and we're gonna finish that cooking. So that's why you don't wanna overcook it because you're just gonna have chewy pieces of meat if you do that and it's not gonna be tasty at all. So go ahead and bring that meat in, break up any big chunks if needed and let that finish cooking. Now 
Now, if you're doing family style, you are more than welcome to dump in your noodles at this point. I find it'll make them a little bit soggy, but you know, it's totally possible if you really want to. You can add the noodles in right now, or we can put them on the plate and you can get a little fancy. There we go. So we have our noodles down on the plate and we're just gonna go ahead and spoon our beef strogi right on top there. Make sure you get plenty of beef, mushrooms, and onions right on top there. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. Make sure you get some of that good sauce. Oh yeah. Now if you wanna get fancy, go ahead, add a little bit of parsley to the party, put that right on top, and there you go. There's our beef stroganoff, just like mama used to make. So tasty, super delicious, not this big casserole mess thing that you might see or anything else. This is just pure tasty deliciousness and it's so easy to make. Okay, so that's all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button down below. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video with a friend that would really help out the channel. But share it with somebody that loves beef stroganoff, somebody that's never had it and wants to try something that's not a big gloopy mess. This is so tasty, so delicious, super impressive for people that have never had it. So make sure you guys are staying full, staying healthy. Bye, guys.